Hi there, I'm Anubis, and I'm working on routing and hopefully completing Armored Core 6 hit lists from a completely new save file. That means doing any arena and training missions on top of the regular missions for equipment. With the help of friends, we've developed some interesting strats that you likely haven't seen before, and they're just too cool not to share. These clips will be in the order you see them in a regular playthrough. So without further ado, let's take a look. First up is the PCA Helicopter, everyone's favorite boss when they're first introduced to Armored Core. This guy sucks even in Hitless. But fortunately, we've got a good way to deal with a lot of his health, and we're going to deal more than half his health's worth of damage before he gets a chance to do anything. First off, we set up in this position, and we're going to look at this specific spot using the mountain and the building. When Walter says what, we assault boost. Now we don't fire any weapons or anything, we just use the sword here twice, boost into it, and hop along for a ride. Now that we're still close to him, we keep the damage and stagger up, use the sword again, now he's staggered. Now we wait, get our energy back, come up, and now we're going to deal the real damage, and he's below half health. Here's a bit of bonus information, he can hide back here. Battles Arsenal number 2 can be a fun mission to do, but sometimes it can be annoying to deal with those snipers on the sides. With this setup we can deal with all of them and not give them a chance to do any damage to us. First of all we're going to use the speedrun strat and kill this one sniper before it gets a chance to jump on the wall and fire at us. Next we're going to use the pulse protection that we had previously set up, go into it, and prevent the other two from getting shots on us. We kill the one, the other one's going to be reloading, and we can take our time getting over to them and deal with them. And now we've set ourselves up for just a 1v1. You probably expected Balteus to be on here, and he is. But what you probably aren't expecting is how we're going to do it. We're going to kill Balteus in one stagger. We're not going to give him a chance to fight back. Remember, when we do this, we only have 4 points of OS tuning and very limited weapon options. At the very beginning of Chapter 3, we're tasked with stealing survey data. In this mission, we have to deal with quite a few MTs, and at the end, we have to deal with MTs, an LC, and a PCA warship. The mission typically looks like this. You've got a lot of enemies firing at you from different directions. Your weapon options probably aren't the best because you got to deal with so many of them, and they tend to dodge so many attacks. So we're going to change this up. Instead of just fighting everybody, we're going to kill them all before most of them get a chance to deploy and anyone gets to activate. Looks a little something like this. And that's everyone dead in one fell swoop. Honest Brute is an interesting character. Not the most difficult, but definitely memorable. While not super hard, Brute can be hard to avoid getting hit by. So we ended up finding a cheese that actually works really well against him. Raven is one of the coolest characters we encounter when we play Armored Core 6. Unfortunately for him, it's also one of the fastest fights we deal with.
Up next, we've got a fight that you probably don't remember, but it's really infuriating the first time you play through this game. The most difficult part about this is that you don't get a checkpoint here, and you have to do the whole mission over again if you don't kill the HC. Up next we've got everyone's favorite buddy. This should be one of the more difficult fights because Rusty has terminal armor, but we found a way to get around that. If you like these clips, consider checking out CatDog and Domomosh's YouTube channels. CatDog does a lot of really difficult challenges. He's done Loader 4 with no OS tuning through New Game Plus Plus. It's wild. He's also done Ibis with manual aim, no HUD, pile bunker only on the Loader 4. Domomosh is another great person to check out. He does a lot of really cool content. He does a lot of playthroughs using pre-built ACs or Nuzlocke runs. He also streams quite a bit. I definitely recommend checking out his Twitch or YouTube channel. I've got links for them down below and also consider checking out our Discord for challenge runs.